Hey guys, good morning and welcome to day three of distance learning. Uh, so it's come to my attention that I forgot um, to mention in the lecture notes about one of your notes that's on your paper, but it's not on the PowerPoint. And so uh, that's kind of what I want to talk about in this little video uh, today and just kind of explain what's going on. And so uh, first of all, there's actually two. Uh, under C, so for structures of the eye, number three, structures of the eye, at letter C for the iris, a uh, blank layer that gives eye color. It's a, a muscle layer. It's like a smooth muscle tissue. It's kind of, um, that's what's contracting, opening and closing. And it's the iris. That's that part, you know, that gives our eye uh, its color. And so... Uh, the iris is the muscle that gives the eye its color. Like, I have brown eyes because my iris is brown. All right, so that's what that one was. And then the second one uh, was at D for the pupil. And it says, the blank of your eye. Uh, some of you guys might have heard the expression before, the apple of your eye. And that's what we're talking about here. So for letter D, the pupil, that's the apple of your eye. And uh, I, that's really what I want to focus on in this video is what does that mean? Uh, the expression, the apple of your eye. I'm sure you've heard it before. I'm sure you've heard it whether uh, from like a song or something like that. Somebody saying, oh, you're the apple of my eye. Uh, it actually comes from uh, the Bible, or at least that's where uh, some of us are familiar with it, is seeing it in the Bible. Uh, in uh, Psalm 17, uh, verse 8, David says to God, keep me as the apple of your eye. And then in Proverbs, uh, chapter 7, verse 2, he says, uh, I'm going to start at verse 1. He says, My son, keep my word and store up my commands within you. Keep my commands and you will live. Guard my teachings as the apple of your eye. So here we have a little bit different context for apple of your eye. What is the apple of your eye? Um, we, we said, scientifically speaking, the apple of your eye is just that dark spot on the eye. Uh, even in the ancient Hebrew culture, that's what they would have considered the apple of your eye. It's that dark spot. Um, some other translations, I've also read where some commentators talk about Psalm 17, where David's saying, you know, keep me as the apple of your eye. Uh, one translation might literally say, the little man of your eye. In other words, it's talking about that reflection, what's reflecting in the eye. And that's what I really want to focus on is our, the apple of our eye. So first of all, the pupil, all right? The pupil, that apple of our eye, it's technically not any physical part. It's the opening, uh, and that's why it looks dark because it's showing the back of our eye. But what does the pupil do? All right, think back to our notes. The pupil is that area that's going to allow light in. The iris is going to dilate, allowing uh, certain lights in, depending on how much light there is in the surroundings. But it's that pupil, that entrance, that apple of your eye that's allowing things to go into your eye and then produce that image on the other side. In other words, without the pupil, you can't even make an image because uh, light's not gonna hit the lens and bend off that to produce the image. And so the lens, or the pupil itself, the apple of your eye, was seen as that center. And whatever was the apple of your eye, like David says, keep me as the apple of your eye. In other words, that's what our gaze is on. That's what our focus is on. And uh, that brings us back to Proverbs, where Solomon says, you know, keep my commands and you will live. Guard my teachings as the apple of your eye. All right, so first of all, we've already said that the apple of our eye uh, it's our pupil, but it's also whatever we're focusing on. And he says to guard it like the apple of your eye. In other words, what do we have protecting our eyes? Well, for one, we have our eyelashes. We have our eyelids. Those eyelids are going to be constantly uh, blinking, covering the, our eyes in tears, keeping them from drying out, from desiccation. And uh, they're going to be protecting things from particles coming in, things that shouldn't be there. And so 
uh, he's saying basically, you know, take the word of God, take my teachings, and guard it just like you would guard the apple of your eye. Whatever is going to be your focus, whatever you're allowing into your eyes. Uh, in other words, we protect our eyes uh, from physical harm. We protect them from the sun. We protect them from uh, dust particles, large things getting into our eyes. That wouldn't be good. Uh, and sometimes, like if we're doing a lab, we wear goggles for safety to protect that apple of your eye, to protect your whole eye. And, uh, and the reason we protect it is because it's important for our sight. So what am I trying to get at here? I guess the point that I'm trying to get at is just simply that, you know, what is at the apple of our eye right now? Is it uh, the coronavirus? Is it all the schoolwork that we have to do? Uh, what should it be? And uh, I would challenge uh, myself included to say that it shouldn't really be any of these things right now. But again, continuing to look to our relationship uh, with God, our relationship with Jesus. Is that the apple of our eye? In other words, is that what's really being reflected in our eye? Is that the center of our focus right now? Because I guarantee you, if that's not where we're at right now, this process is just going to be a whole lot harder. It's going to be a whole lot more difficult. And what I really wanted to say in this video is just take some time out today to make that happen. Make Jesus the center uh, the apple of your eye, the little man in your eye, what's reflecting, what's going into your eye, uh, and protect it. And uh, I guess the other thing I'm trying to say is just take some time out, you know? If you need a break from what we've been doing, take that break today. I'm, I'm going to be putting up the ear video later today, and you guys will get a notification when that comes out. But if you need a break from that, take a break from it. All right, don't strain your eyes too much. Uh, take some time to focus on what really does matter. If that means that you don't finish your anatomy work today, so you can focus on what should be the true apple of our eye, do that. I'm fine with that, guys. Uh, you know that if I see that we're not getting things or uh, we need to slow down, we slow down. And so just take this day to kind of slow down. Uh, again, the ear video is going to be going up later today. If you want to watch that, or if you just want to go through the Google Slides and get your notes already, you're you're fine to do that. But again, take some time out today, uh, and just rest. Uh, look at, you know, read the Bible. Just go through some of the Psalms. Cry out to God. Let our focus. Let God be that reflection, the apple of our eye. What's at the center? of what we're doing right now, what we're going through. And I guarantee you, and I'm speaking to myself here, and I, but I guarantee you, we do that. We take our time out uh, to develop that relationship with God, to let him be the focus, the apple of our eye. And uh, we'll see the world differently too. So I love you guys. I miss you. Take some time out. Just don't stress. Trust in God. And I'll talk to you guys later. All right. See ya.